What's up traders? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to clean up your charts on TradingView. The first thing we're going to do is right click on the chart that we're looking to edit and we're going to come down to settings. At this point, we want to be under canvas so we could start to change some of the background. Right now, we have a solid white background with a vertical and horizontal grid lines and we have no watermark on. The watermark is something that I personally like to leave off. I don't find it necessary. We get the same information up here. For the background, we have a solid white and the grid lines are vertical and horizontal. So if you're looking for vertical only or horizontal only, it does give that option as well. For this case, we're going to turn those off. Now to come to the color, the solid white, we're going to change it to a gradient and we're going to make the first color a light gray and the second color a shade darker of a gray. This gives the chart a bit of depth and it looks pretty clean and easier on the eyes. Now again, you could change it, you can make it whatever color you're looking for. If you want a blue chart, a green chart, an orange chart, it's whatever you guys want. This is just for this example. Now that we have our chart cleaned up a bit, let's go over to the symbol icon under the chart settings. This will help us change what the candles look like because now the candles are starting to blend in with the volume and it's sort of getting hard to see the wicks. So we're going to keep the body as a green and we're going to keep the bearish bodies as a red and we're going to make the borders and the wicks a bit darker. The reason for that is so when we're overlapping into volume or into any type of rectangle or trend line, we're still able to see the borders and the wicks because we want to know what's going on with the price action. So now that we changed everything, we have a much cleaner chart. As for changing the volume, the volume isn't in the chart settings. The volume is under the indicators tab. So it's going to be in the top left over here. You're going to see an arrow or a list of indicators on your screen. Then we're going to click the settings icon and come over to styles. Now, just like we did with the candles, we're going to want to keep these a bit darker and yet we're going to want to keep them a bit lighter in a sense of the opacity, right? So we want them to be very faded so the candles have no problem sitting above them or resting on them and it's not blocking our idea or blocking the wicks. So now we have cleaned up volume, we have cleaned up candles, our charts are starting to look and feel a lot better. But we're not quite finished yet. There's still a few things that we could change on our chart, which is the information provided up here. Now, let's say the information up here isn't quite necessary for your type of trading. We could turn that off. When we right click on this information, a quick list comes up and we're able to check off and check on what we want on our screen. So for chart values, we could turn that off and it gets rid of the chart values. Bar change values, we could get rid of that as well. Open market status is that green little bubble that tells you if your market is live, open, delayed, etc. And we have the symbol title as well. You could turn the symbol title off. Don't usually recommend it unless you have some type of indicator that also provides on the screen what we're looking at or if you have the watermark on the screen that we mentioned earlier. Now there are buy and sell market buttons. These can also be turned off to clean up the chart even more. And again, it's just all preference. It's whatever you're looking to do with your trading view chart. 